to live the ride of your life? Let us take you through exciting, exhilarating, and unforgettable adventures in the glamorous world of Supermodels. Check out some mega hits, see the fashion world up close, and follow our top supermodels, Bettina. Nikki and Yasmin. Lights, camera, action. Here comes the main attraction. Supermodel strutting at the cutting edge of fashion. Bob's your favorite story. It's a headline story. Supermodels roll. Every young girl dreams of being a superstar. Can't watch she a love that's unique. I've got some wonderful news. I'm sure you all remember that fabulous French designer, Claude Bonnet. Well, I've just got off the phone with him, and he likes you. He likes you a lot. In fact, he likes you so much that he wants you to model his latest designs in a magazine spread. Far, Far out. out. That, that means, means a trip, trip to, to Paris. Paris. Dear, please. Smile, baby. No, you smile, Mr. Paparazzi. Huh? Hold it. Ah! Huh? Yes, sir. Gets them every time. Great shot, Yasmin. Huh? Ah! I'll scoop them yet. Say, Kim, could you do me a favor and read my palm for me? I want to find out if I'm going to meet anyone interesting in Paris. Sure, let's see. As the lines on your hand cross, so too will you cross paths with a tall, dark stranger who will steal your heart away. Steal my heart? That's so romantic. Romantic? Well, I suppose so, if the thief is really who you want to meet. A thief? Hi, girls. We're over here. Hi, Madame Nadia. Hey, uh, hold on! Huh? You can't go without me! Thank goodness you're here, Shampoo. Do you have all the styling equipment you will need for this assignment? Naturalmente, Madame Nadia. Shampoo is armed and ready for action. Shampoo Rigatoni, the styling moose kid. Well, I'm the fastest head around in the West. Yes, Mr. Van Paris, but don't worry, I'll get the photo somehow. Flying 17 to Paris. That's us, Robin. We got to go now. Remember, don't eat too many biscuits or you'll get a queasy tummy like last time. The things I have to do to earn a living. Paris does have other focal points of interest. You know, I hadn't noticed. Oh, Robin, it's even more wonderful than I imagined. 
the heart of Monsieur Bonnet's empire. This is cool. We're actually gonna meet Claude Bonnet. Ah, you look beautiful as ever, Nadia, ma chérie. You flatterer. Claude, let me introduce you to my wonderful girls. Let's walk as we talk. Come on. My operation does everything from the initial design to the manufacture and modeling. Right now, we are completing a new line of leisure wear for my upcoming summer catalog. Oh! Ha! Huh, a real artist, this pooch. You should see his <laughs> etchings. What do you think? They're all beautiful. May we, but they'll only come alive when you girls model them. What's in these cabinets? I keep all my top secret designs in here. Then, wait till you see these. <laughs> Don't want my rival seeing these. Why bring these girls all the way from America to model, huh? That peacock bonnet must be planning a big publicity blitz for his new summer catalog. Well, we shall see. If bonnet thinks he can upstage Victor Russo, he doesn't know me. Here are the latest sketches for your summer designs, Mr. Russo. Never mind that. Bring me the supermodel's biographies. I want to know all about them. Hmm. A trim shampoo? Huh? Over here, shampoo. Huh? The curl shampoo. This oh, glitch oh, needs trimming. Oh, You, Robin? <laughs> oh, you don't like it. In the South of France, it was springtime. Hey, stop! It's okay? Oh! That's good, Patina. Hold it. Great! Rev up the smile a bit, Nikki. Looking good, island girl. Hold it there, girls. Okay, we just need to make you look a little bit more windswept. So why don't you crank her up a bit, shampoo? That's great. What's going on? Well, what do you think of my supermodels, Claude? They've done a wonderful job, Nadia. The photos are magnifique. You've earned the rest of the day off. Enjoy yourselves. All right. Yay! Yay! I wonder if I'll meet that tall, dark stranger. Yeah. <laughs> well, there are plenty to choose from. Bonjour, baby. What a lovely painting. Don't you think so, Robin? Come along, Casanova. There are some more over there. Ooh. Ah. I'm terribly sorry. I wasn't watching where I was... No, please. I was the one who wasn't watching. I was distracted by the beautiful works of art. You're an artist? As a matter of fact, I'm a fashion designer. That's incredible. You see, I'm a model. So what brings you to Paris? We're modeling for Claude Bonnet. It'll be the supermodel's big break. What about you? 
Of course, I hope to make it big real soon, too, if I'm lucky enough yeah. to meet the right people, that is. Oh, but I'm sure you will. Hi there. Well, what do you know, huh? Maybe Kim should read my palm. Supermodel falls for street artist. That's a juicy headline. Ah! Another paparazzi slime ball shampoo. What do you think we should do with this one? Great Gorgonzola into the garbage. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> This place is great. I love the atmosphere. It's good, but myself, I prefer Mozart. That's amazing. He's my favorite composer as well. <laughs> Would you like to dance, Patina? Well, it's not yeah. Mozart, but why not? Huh. <gasps> How do you like my tall, dark stranger? Make sure he doesn't steal your heart. Oh, take no notice. She's superstitious. Would you model for me, Bettina? Thought you'd never ask. I'll do your hair, my precious. She's a real knockout in girls, you know. Bye! Okay. I understand, Pierre. I asked you to get close to the girl. So we could get a good look at Bonnie's designs, but you get a little too close. Is that about it? It's not just the girl, Mr. Russo. It's copying Bonnie's designs. I don't like it. A good businessman knows what his competition's up to. It goes with the territory. Sure, but it doesn't feel right. It's your choice, Pierre. Work for me or try to make it on your own. You're good, Pierre. I mean it, but not that good. Not yet. Okay, I finished. Come take a look. That's fantastic! You really should allow Monsieur Bonnet to see your designs. Yeah, maybe, but if I knew what designs Monsieur Bonnet likes, then I could make sure my portfolio was more in keeping with his style, you know what I mean? No problem, Pierre. I have an idea, okay? But don't say a word. What's wrong, fella? Oh, that's just Robin showing off. Ignore him. Now then, come with me, Pierre. Wow, this is great, Bettina. It sure helps a lot. What does he keep in those big cabinets? That's private. Monsieur Bonnet's secret designs are in there. Well, I'll see you later. Goodbye, Pierre. Goodbye for now, Sherry. Oh, Robin, do be quiet. You're just jealous of Pierre. Admit it. I really hate myself for having to do this. Robin! What is it, Robin? You want me to follow you? There's no one here. What's got into you? What? Oh, Robin. Oh, no. Do you think Pierre's behind all this? Impossible, Claude. I know my girls, they wouldn't steal anything. That's no lie. They're as honest as Abraham Lincoln. Take it from me. I want to believe you, Nadia, but I'm afraid I have evidence and a witness who swears that they were involved. A witness? A reporter called Werner Schmidt. That low-life Werner Schmidt's in Paris? He took these photographs. But I can explain all this. Sorry, but I must turn you over to the authorities. I have no choice. Ellie! Galloping Gambaroni, if you take these girls, you will have to take me too. Now, is that clear to you both, gentlemen? Ah! 
I really can't believe Pierre would use huh? me like this. I just can't. I know, but the evidence says otherwise, and he did have a motive. Pierre Landra works for Victor Russo, the Italian designer who is based here. That thieving yo-yo, he couldn't even design a garbage bag. And I'll bet he hired Pierre to steal Bonnet's designs. I can't believe it. Things were so perfect. We had so much in common. A little too much in common. Everything Pierre knew about you was available on the supermodel's website here on the internet. He just looked it up. Right down to my favorite composer being Mozart. I should have listened to you, Kim, and not let him steal my heart. I'll trust only you from now on, Robin. He's so sad. Huh? It's good news. You're all free to go, at least until the hearing. You wanted to see me, Pierre? Yeah, I quit. Starting right now. So you think you're quitting, do you? I guess I'll just give in to Mother's wishes and live in a castle unhappily ever after. We can't give up that easily, Bettina. Yasmin's got a point. Why take the rap when we're all innocent? Right, so we find Pierre. When we find him, we make him confess everything. Lunchtime, Nikki. Remember, watch that calorie intake. Who asked you? Pierre yeah, had such friendly eyes. How could he turn out to be a bad Just guy? bad luck. Huh? Huh? Don't move! Hands up or I blow you away! Right, Pierre, spill your guts before Shampoo gives you a center parting that you won't forget. But that's exactly what I came here to do, to confess. Everything you say is true. I'm a thief and a liar. So you really did it. You admit that. Yes, but I didn't know he was going to copy those designs. And if it's any consolation, I just told Russo I quit. I know I shouldn't, but I sympathize. I'm gonna tell the police what happened and get you all off the hook. But it's our word against Russo's. Maybe we could catch him in the act. Hey, a sting, just like in the movies. All right, so let's do it, but we gotta act fast. We have a hearing with the judge in three hours. We're gonna need someone to go undercover, someone who Russo doesn't know. Oh, oh, oh Robin, wait! <laughs> ah, get off, you map! Ah, it's not what you think. I was admiring the scenery. What should we do with him? Drown him like a rat. Oh, please, you wouldn't! Ah, ah, come back! We'll get you out if you do exactly as we say. Of course. Yes, they're perfect. I want everyone working overtime to complete these. Yes, sir. Poor Bonnie, I feel sorry for him. I can't wait to see his face when he sees his designs in my catalogue. Hello? Hello, Mr. Russell. I can get hold of some of Claude Bonnie's top designs for you. Sounds interesting. Yes, sir. Uh, meet me at six by the Eiffel Tower if you're interested. Soon we'll have the definitive designs for the spring season. Okay, Werner, I'll go over it one more time. Get Russo to admit he took the designs. Huh? And don't try any funny business. Or I set the girls on you and the dog. No, no, please, I got it. That's great. He doesn't know it's us. And thanks to Shampoo's makeover, Russo won't recognize us either. Over there, that has to be him. We'll monitor the conversation through the phone. Turn on the tape recorder. Right. I'm a reporter, not a spy. Get in. So let me see what you've got. I want to be sure they're authentic. Come on. Yeah. Very nice work. Monsieur Bonnet's latest designs will feature heavily in my new catalog. And those supermodels will take the blame for the theft. Now we got him. I always reward a job well done, my friend. Oh, oh yes, thank you. What's that? My asthma! <laughs> and those supermodels will take the blame for the theft. You tricked me. Get going. Ah! Looks like Werner blew his cover. Crumbling cannoli. You'd better call the police, Bettina. Here we go. Hold on tight. We got trouble. Come on. Give me the tape. I can't. The supermodels will get me if I do. You're following him? Ah! Ah! Got him! The river 
Walker's ahead. He must turn. Let's see if we can beat him to the finishing line. Yeah, good work. You managed to lose them. Don't bet on it. I'm out of here. We can't let Russo get the tape. Come on. <laughs> Tai Chi, I'm preparing! Come back! Hand over that tape! Yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah, I was just about to do so. Hi-ya! Uh. 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 Hand over that tape! Whatever you say, young lady. Hey, uh. smile! Hi-ya! Uh. 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 Oh, you have a great future in front of you. I knew my supermodels would be a big hit. But we couldn't have done it without you, Madame Nadia. Well, Bettina, I suppose that this fairy tale has a happy ending after all. There's only one thing missing, Prince Charming. It ain't over yet, girl. I came to apologize, Monsieur Bonnet. My behavior was unforgivable. I should have had more faith in myself and my work. I agree. I've seen your designs, Pierre. They're exceptional. And on Bettina's recommendation, I'm offering you a job. You'll be starting at the bottom, of course. I accept. Thank you, monsieur. To try and make it up to you, I have two tickets for the Philharmonic. Mozart. Never heard him, but I'd like to. You know how to steal a girl's heart, Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, anyone know what happened to Werner? Stupid dog! Huh? Huh? Okay, okay, I'll come out! Just keep that monster off me! Ow! 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 Oh, no! You sure you brought everything for the picnic, John? Yeah, we got food, drink, video games. Well, I got a feeling we're forgetting something. You sure are, kid. Huh? huh? You forgot to wear your cycling helmets. Wowie! It's the supermodels! Remember the rules of the road. Signal before you turn and obey all the warning signs, okay? And last but not least, don't forget, models rule, okay? Bye, kid! <laughs> Shivering Scalopini, when the supermodels hit the slopes on a high fashion adventure in the Swiss Alps, each one meets a handsome young man. But romance soon turns to recklessness when Nikki's hotshot photographer friend dares her to go on a dangerous shoot and an avalanche strands them 10,000 feet up on a deadly mountain. Can the girls and their boyfriends rally together and save Nikki in time? Come and break the ice in this chilling story of courage and compassion in Supermodels.